Well, let's see if we have a bad compressor. I always hear people say I have a bad compressor and uh, they don't know because their pressures are too low. For example, if it was 150 PSI, well, here's a regulator pressure sensor, 115 PSI, right there. That's my press uh, pressure on the vehicle. So here's my pressure sensor right here. Let's get that out of the way. There's your transducer right there. There's 117 PSI, that's my high side pressure. You can see the refrigerant in the side glass. So let's do something. Oh, another thing. You can see the water on my suction line. And if you could see way down there, I don't know if my camera could catch that down there. That, let's see if I can put the tips. See that shadow where the tip is? That's my compressor. And if you look at it really carefully, it's wet because it's cold. All over my compressor, it's wet. My compressor is dripping. If you look over on this side of the compressor, down below that black, below the orange fitting, do you see the water down there? Do you see the wet down there? The compressor is always cold because it's full of refrigerant and the superheat is low. It's not high. It's not 30, 40, 60 degrees superheat. It's more like five degrees superheat right now. Well, let's come back here and look at this pressure. 112 12 right now. There we go, 112. Let's see if I'm gonna grab the right fuse with the wrong tool, but the hell with it. Ah, that sounded right. Yep, the fan just went off. Now let's look at that high side pressure. Look at that right there. Oh, we also have the RPMs of the compressor, but we're, we're concerned about this pressure right here. So if you look right here, the fan is off because they pulled the fuse. So let's, let's wait. Remember some people think that you have low pressure like I had 112, 117 PSI, they think, oh, my compressor is weak. Well, what if I put a piece of cardboard over this condenser, it'd do the same thing. Look, listen to the RPMs. The computer's telling it to compensate for something. Where's our low side pressure? Uh, oh yeah, this doesn't have a low side pressure. Um, I wanted to stick cardboard, but I can't get to the condenser. And I'm not going to take this all apart to do that. Oh, look at 230 PSI. Is there something wrong? It was only 112 and 117 PSI. So what do you think? Oh, 250. We're approaching 300 PSI. So if you ever have a question, if your compressor is good, if you can reach 400 PSI, 350 PSI, there's nothing wrong with your compressor. The more pressure your compressor makes, that means the better it is. There we go, 300 PSI. And it'll go all the way up to 400 and something. So let's uh, put that back. There we go. Going. Let's watch the pressure. Going back down. So anytime you think you have a weak, I hear these guys say weak compressor all the time and they replace their compressor. I'm not picking on anyone. I just get this question in a lot of replaced compressors because they think it's a weak compressor. If you have a full charge of refrigerant and you throw newspaper over the condenser and completely block the condenser and you're watching your pressure on your analog gauge, it doesn't matter if it's an analog gauge, you watch it go all the way up to 400 PSI. you got a strong compressor. Go look elsewhere cause your compressor to go high if you can cause your compressor to go high you have a good compressor look elsewhere see you guys later i hope this helps somebody